Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So, according to a recent pull request over on GitHub, where Microsoft maintains and develops uh, Power Toys, uh, it's going to be getting an update for Power Toys Run, which is a quick launcher um, for your desktop. So, using once the feature is enabled, using Alt and Space, there we go. You can launch Power Toys Run, and you can uh, type in any um, command just to launch different apps and so on from your desktop using the uh, utility app. Now, um, the update is going to be adding a lot of the Windows 11 design language to Power Toys Run. So it's going to take on the look and feel of Windows 11, where currently Power Toys, um, as you can see, looks a little bit legacy and hasn't really kept up with the uh, design principles and language of Windows 11. Now, according to um, uh, the pull request over on GitHub, um, there are going to be some uh, changes that are going to be introduced, which Microsoft is currently working on. So these changes are still in development, but if we head over to some screenshots provided, um, on the left, we get the current Power Toys uh, run, and on the right, this is the new look and feel that is currently being worked on. So just to go through some of these new features, um, there's going to be a brand new UX that is more in line with the Windows 11 design language, as we can see and as mentioned. There's going to be an acrylic backdrop so it will pick up a little bit of that desktop background and if we head to another gif provided and when the search box is empty basically in zero state an overview is shown with all activated plugins and trigger commands if we head back we can see they've also updated all plugin icons to fluent icons we're currently um, on the left things still looking a little bit uh, legacy and on the right looking a little bit more like windows 11 so they've updated those uh, plug-in icons to um, the uh, fluent design principles of Windows 11. The default size is also now a little bit smaller. The Power Toys run uh, feature itself is a little bit smaller um, while showing more results. And um, there's no longer they no longer use a transparent window. So those are some of the uh, improvements and changes that are coming. Now, um, at this stage, though, we don't know and there's no information of when Microsoft is actually planning to release the redesigned Power Toys Run launcher, which I actually think is a nice improvement uh, for the um, so-called legacy Power Toys Run launcher, which has been around in Power Toys for many years now. But because um, Microsoft and uh, the Power Toys team does push out updates for Power Toys um, re uh, very frequently and on a regular basis, I'm sure that um, we should start seeing uh, these changes and improvements rolling out to Power Toys Run uh, in our next update or two uh, for the Power Toys utility app. So obviously I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. And just in case in, if you're unaware what Power Toys is all about, um, it includes a whole lot of tools and utilities that help you to tune and streamline Windows 10 and Windows 11 that aren't available by default in the OSs. And it's maintained and developed by Microsoft and can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.